Yo, I'm DJ Jack Master, and I'm back with another edition of the Master Mix. This is edition 2022. So the Master Mix is usually a yearly mix that I do every year, and I didn't actually do one for the last couple of years, probably because I was lacking a bit of inspiration because of the pandemic, wasn't doing as many shows, and that's where I usually really like to experience music, obviously, is in a live, a live environment. Um, and I think probably as well, the pandemic for a lot of people as well, like had a... I had quite a negative impact on my mental health and I wasn't enjoying music as much and I just, yeah, so for those reasons I didn't want to force a mix, a mix out because I usually like to spend a bit of time on them and like quite precious about them really and I wasn't really feeling it so I didn't do any. Once the gig started up again I really got that passion back and it was important to, yeah, to document that in a mix sort of thing. Because I think the first one was like 2006. It's not been every year since then but over the last, you know, the last maybe 10 years, they have been every year. Um, so I started them, the first one was in 2006, so, and that was when I was growing up, and obviously I started working in Rubber Dub, so I was, it was the heavy house and techno influence from that, but I actually grew up listening to a lot of Diplo mixes, and it was his eclecticism and the way he DJed, especially in his fabric mix, which I loved, um, that, you know, taught me that, you know, it doesn't have to be straight dance music all the time, you know, you can flip in bits of disco, you can flip in bits of like old 80s stuff and that R&B, hip hop. So the mix even starts with like Mariah Carey and then, you know, later on there's like tunes from like Umek and, you know, looks later on like harder techno stuff, like, and then there's hip hoppy stuff from Hudson Walk and there's Nelly Furtado in it as well. So I'm keeping up that eclecticism of like my older mixes, but mixing in with house and techno and having a bit of fun, you know. With the master mixes, I try and capture like, um, my a snapshot of my DJ when I feel kind of creatively free and um, I feel like free to express myself anyway. Um, like that kind of pocket you get into in the club where everything's going well and you're just kind of not going through the motions but you're, you're instinctively selecting, taking risks and selecting stuff that you maybe sometimes wouldn't, you know, when you're in your best, your best mode sort of thing. DJs that really gave me those what the fuck moments where the DJs that were quite creative who used acapellas and cut stuff and all that. I mean, I don't do the cutting really. I've, trust me, I've tried, but I'm not good at it. Um, but like the way Diplo DJed, um, so when I was growing up, like listening to his fabric mix and I was mostly just DJing house and techno at that time, listening to his mixes and, you know, he would mix like Inner City with a Baltimore track or like a 3-6 Mafia tune over the top, just things like that really were, were like, wow, I can... I can play all the stuff that I want to play in amongst each other because at that time, personally, I, I hadn't experienced that. So I didn't think it was a thing, you know, I didn't think, I didn't think that I, I was creatively able to do that. And then it kind of opened my eyes to a lot of that. I mean, grew up listening to and DJing alongside Detroit DJ called Claude Young, who was an incredible, incredibly creative DJ. And he used to do these all night parties in Glasgow where he would go from like everything from soul and funk through to tough Detroit techno, do you know what I mean? So they, they were the kind of influences that I had um, and they gave me the sort of like, yeah, the what the fuck moments in the club where you just be like, wow, like sort of epiphany moments. And um, yeah, like I said, although I'm not doing the cutting and all the, the clever stuff that Claude Young used to do, I think like definitely when I'm doing these mixes, I can hear these influences. I'm never actually happy with any, I'm never 100% happy with any mixes or any live recordings I do. like. I must have done like, I must have done like six or seven boiler rooms in my life and only two of them are online because I always say no. When people record me, I'm never happy enough with it. So I always say no, so I'm not completely happy, but I'm proud of all the master mixes I've done, man. I think like, I mean, if you, if it's most reductive, you, you are just playing music by other people. So you really have to give a lot of respect to the people, most of the respect to the people whose music I'm using. Do you know what I mean? But I think, um, there's been some good moments throughout these mixes, which I'm happy with. You know, sometimes you walk in a walk in a shop or something and they're playing your mix. It's quite nice. Yo, I'm DJ Jackmaster and I'm back with another edition of the Master Mix. This is Master Mix 2022. Yeah, what's with that hat though, mate? <laughs> what's with that? Oh, well, last time you filmed me, I looked so bold. So I thought I'd cover up, man. <laughs>